Hello everyone, welcome to Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Just coming back at you with another video. I know it's been a couple days, but my daughter's been over. She came over Saturday and she's stayed Sunday. And she was over tonight till about 9, 10, 10 o'clock. Um, so yeah, I haven't really made any videos. I've been tired. My grandson has been tiring me out. I'm telling you, he's into everything, he doesn't stop, and yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. But it's fun. I mean, I love spending time with them. Um, we went swimming a couple times, we went for a couple walks, we played, played blocks, all this stuff. Played some uh, cars, got some matchbox cars for him. Um, yeah, he doesn't put stuff in his mouth or anything. He don't. He hasn't had a binky in a long time, so he doesn't put stuff in his mouth at all. Um, but yeah, so I got this in the mail, and yeah, I know what this is already. Um, do you guys want? You guys want to know what it is? Well, I'll show you one second. So we're going to open it and see what's in here. I've been trying to get this for a month or two now, and I finally got some at a good price. And they are Bowman Fat Packs. Um, the blasters are a little overpriced, I feel. The cheapest I could find them was $26, um, which isn't that bad, but I thought still... Over, overly expensive. Um, these were only $11. So I got four of them. I'm going to open two for sure right now. And maybe all four, depending on how long this video goes. Probably just two, but... And then I have one more team, baseball team, that I have to tell you my favorite player. Uh, I believe it's the Giants, yes. Um... But I'm gonna not gonna tell you right now because I haven't. I just thought about it, so I'll write it in the description down below and I'll tell you. But uh, so let's just get to this these fat packs and see what's in here. Hopefully, I know the hot player is uh, Jason Dominguez. Um, I think he's last year's Wander Franco. Uh, I don't know, and of course I want any Tigers in there, which. Um, last year's Tigers number one pick. Uh, I just saw he made a pretty awesome catch today. I can't think of his name now. Hunter, wait, Riley Green or something like something like that. Yeah, Riley Green, I think. And uh, he's gonna be a good one, guys. Uh, it sure looks like it, at least. Um, and of course we got a lot of pitching in the minors. Um, Casey Mize is major league ready. I'll tell you that. Got a couple other ones that are pretty darn good. Matt Manning. Uh, look out for the Tigers pitching staff coming up in the next couple of years. We'll be good. Hitting, I don't know so much about. Um, you know, Riley Green or whatever. I think that's his name. Like I said, he looks good, but he was 18. I think he's 19 now. So if the uh, hitting catches up with the pitching, we'll be pretty good. But that's a long ways off, so we'll see. We'll I'll get to the opening of these right now. Pack number one. Just give me a second, guys. I'll give you guys the odds. A lot of people like to see what the odds are on here. So take a quick look. And uh, now we're going to see. Hopefully we get some color in these bad boys. Or an auto or something. Something pretty good. First card. Chris Bryant, Cattell Marte, a rookie card of Sean Murphy. I love these cards. Uh, Talent Pipeline for the Blue Jays, Eric Perdino, Nate Pearson, and Kevin Smith. I don't know any one of those guys. Let's look at the back, see who they are.
Then we got Alec Baum. I do have a numbered card from him from Bowman last year. Colored numbered card. So that's cool. I know he's pretty good. supposed to be. Um, we do have a first Bowman of Nick Bennett. I am going to sleeve these up right after I do this video, by the way. Speaking of Matt Manning, there he is. Let's look at his numbers from last year. See, 2.56 ERA, not bad. 148 strikeouts and 133 innings. Not bad. I think he's ready, actually, for the majors. I think he'll be up this year, along with Casey Mize. Uh, next, we got Drew Waters. Do not not familiar with Drew Waters. Three oh nine average last year. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Next up is Grant Little. No, don't know who that is either. Next up is. Hans Kraus. I do actually have a patch of this guy, and I, it's numbered to 50. Um, I think it's from 2017. It's like a pro debut, top pro debut of him. Uh, not Stats aren't too good from last year, but overall they're good. 327, not bad. Anytime you got more than a strikeout an inning, you're doing good. Uh, Zach Thompson. Do not know him, but he's first round pick from last year. Speaking of uh, Casey Mize, there he is. You guys, uh, let's look at his ERA from last year. 2.55. Hundred and six strikeouts and hundred and nine innings. It's pretty close. Almost a strikeout in an inning, not bad. Not as good as Matt Manning's, but and then you got I know I've heard of this guy, Bobby Dahlbeck. I I know they're high on him. I can see why. Well, not too good of an average, but twenty seven homers. Pretty good. Seth Beer. I know that name from last year. I believe he was, yeah, he was drafted by the Astros. 26 homers. Got him in the, the Grinky deal. Brennan Davis. Not familiar with him. Then you got rookie cards of Nick Solak. Mauricio Dubon. Not, fam not too familiar with him. I do know Nick Solak. Michael Baez. And Travis Demerit. Another Tiger. Um, he was a former Ranger that we got. So, no color in there, but some Tiger rookies and, uh, you know, I mean, some Tiger prospects, some good rookies. So, overall, not a bad pack. Nothing too, too spectacular, but pretty good. So, we're going to open the second pack and see what we got in this pack. Okay, first pick is 
Bruce Star Gratterall. Someone told me he's a fireballer. Supposed to be good. Nice ERA, 1.92. That's good. Then you got Zach Collins, the, ro the rookie catcher for the White Sox. Adrian Moore, John. Oh, this is a good one. This is an insert of the guy we're looking for, Jason Dominguez. So that's a good card to get. Nice. And then we got a Bowman Scouts Top 100, Daniel Lynch of Kansas City Royals. That's cool. I love those cards, those Top 100. So we got a Jason Dominguez. I think that makes this a, a good pack, right? Just for that card. Cannon Smith. Do not know who Cannon Smith is, but it did good last year, so looks like a good prospect. Jaseel De La Cruz first Bowman. Do not know him. Another Casey Mize. Now we got the paper and the chrome of him. So that's cool. Had a double or a no hitter last year. Yeah, double hitter. <laughs> that makes sense. Tyler Freeman or Taylor Freeman or no Tyler Freeman. Do not never heard of him. We got Hunter Bishop of the Giants. Austin Beck of Oakland A's. I do recognize that name from last year. Now onto the Chrome cards. Sixto Sanchez. Alvaro. Sejus, first Bowman, Chrome. Haven't heard of that guy. Pretty good minor league record. 2.81 ERA last year. Not bad. Here we go what I'm talking about. Riley Green. Yep, it is Riley. I was right. That was our first round pick last year. He's all of 19 years old now. Going to be 20, though, next month. Or no, not next month, September. So that's cool. I'm glad. Gotten, gotten a lot of Tigers cards. That's good. Um, Cody Hoyce. Hoyce? I don't know. Never heard of him. First round pick of the Dodgers last year. We got John Means. Dan Vogelbach. Bryce Harper. He had, a he had a decent year last year. Not a great one, but a decent one. 
average could have been better. And Hunter Dozier. So nothing too, too crazy. Got the Jason Dominguez, um, the Riley Green, Casey a couple Casey Mises, um, the Alex Baum. I know he's supposed to be a good prospect. Bobby Dahlbeck, a few other ones in there. So, yeah, overall not too bad. Um, I'm... I'm going to open, I'm going to save the other ones for tomorrow, have another video. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you think of these, what's your favorite card, um, if there's any other good prospects that you know of. Um, yeah, that's it. So, like I was saying earlier, had a good time with my grandson and my daughter. Um, yeah, but... Handling him, he's a, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a terror, man. He, he's 13 months old and he's, does not sit still for one second. But he does listen very well. I will say for his age, he's, he comprehends when you tell him no or when you tell him to do something. Like, for the most part, he listens. So, pretty good. Starting off early. All right, guys, um, that's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be kind to one another. Um, they just enacted the mandatory mask wearing. If you don't wear a mask in public, you get fined $500. Um, the county sheriffs around here, around me, um, they're all saying they're not going to enforce it, but I'm still going to wear one. Um, but I'm just saying, like, they're getting real strict with it now. So, but, uh, yeah, so the stores aren't supposed to let you in without one. I don't know. It's just a crazy world we live in, man. But... I guess that's just the norm for now. So hopefully we can get rid of this crap and, you know, go back to normal. All right, guys. Like I said, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Be kind to one another. Uh, even if somebody doesn't agree with, agree with you and your views, respect people's views that are different than yours. And... Just be kind and respectful to one another. That's all. And be safe out there. And do what you love and love what you do, guys. All right, guys. Later.